Shocky Game here, and in this video I'll be showing it the Super Mario Bros. 8-bit dot design mouse. This is the Goomba version. Now there are a couple of other versions. Uh, there was the Mario version, which I've got uploaded on my channel, and there's also the Power Star version, which I've also got on my channel. So I'll put both those links down below. Um, so if you want to check out the first two dot design mouse, go ahead and check the description below. So this is the Goomba version, as you can see. So it's for Windows, made by Dan Presto. You can see the mouse through the packaging. Down here it says Nintendo, Super Mario Bros, for Windows. And it's got some other information there. On the side it shows a profile of the Mario version. And the other side it shows the Goomba version. On the bottom it shows Goomba and Mario. Same sort of thing on the top, it just got information about uh, the mouse and says for Windows. On the back of the box, just got a whole lot of information uh, about the mouse and everything like that. Down at the bottom here it says Band Presto 2005. And of course there's information here, it says uh, USB compatible, 400 DPI um, for Windows, you know, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and open up the box and have a closer look at the mouse. You also get this little page here, which is like an instruction manual. So it just shows says shows the Mario and the Goomba mouse there. Some information in the USB. So it's basically a plug and play USB mouse. You just plug it into computer and it automatically detects it as a standard mouse. So pulling the out of the packaging. As you can see, it's a Goomba in all its eight bit glory. So basically, it's a retro type style mouse, as you can see. It's, it's an 8-bit type design. Now how you right and left click is you do it on the Goomba's head here. So there's your left click and your right click. So after using this, Goomba will probably have a headache from clicking his head all the time. And looking over the back, you can see it's a standard ball mouse, so it's not optical at all, it's just a ball mouse. And of course it's got these little glide pads as well, which help it move on the surface. So it works just like an all mouse, you put on your mouse pad, you hold it, and of course you click. And give Goomba a headache. So I mean, it's not really aimed at being ergonomic at all. Um, it's actually very uncomfortable to hold because of this kind of hard, kind of blocky edges and everything like that. Um, it's mainly meant to be a retro type collectible for fans and collectors alike. Um, if you probably did use it as an everyday mouse, it'd probably hurt your hands or give you a carpal tunnel or something like that. So. Yeah, I would, I would probably more say it's aimed at people wanting to collect it or just fans of Super Mario Bros or Nintendo in general, stuff like that. Because um, it comes in that nice display box, so you could quite easily just leave it in the box, put it on your shelf, and have it as a good display piece. And I mean, it is Goomba, so it looks pretty awesome. Look at his eyes, he's frowning at you. Um, give a quick look around the mouse. And like I said earlier, this is just one of three versions of it. So there's the Mario version as well as the Power Star. Both of them are on my channel, so there'll be a link in the description if you'd like to go check those out as well. So this is the third and final dot design mouse for the Super Mario Bros. series that I know about at least. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. Kind of like the Goomba. And by the way, the Goomba one is the hardest one to find. So where you find Mario and the Power Star pretty much everywhere, the Goomba is not as easy to find. You do find it, and if you keep your eye out, you can find it quite easily. But out of the three masks, the Goomba one is the hardest one to find. But yeah, thanks, you got, thanks guys for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'll have heaps more controller and accessory reviews up shortly. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sharky Gamer.